This episode of the Part 3 Podcast is brought to you by Unified Healing. I'd like to talk about recovery, but recovery in a different sense when it relates to golf. So when you hit one bad shot and you're out of place on the golf course, the most important thing to do is not let one mistake turn to two mistakes. Sometimes it might not be what uh, the medicine you want to take, but it's what the doctor ordered. The best way to recover is get back out into the fairway. Get it on the green. If you're in a bunker, the recovery is to get it on the green. You're only trying to do two things. One, you're trying to get it on the green, and two, you're trying to get it close. But in the sense of recovery, getting it on the green is the first start. So keep a positive attitude. Sometimes you got to chip out, but believe me, you can still hit a great shot, get it close and make par. So never forget that unified healing, recovery to all. Part, part three podcast. Just fucking go. Stephen Marvin. Oh my goodness. Let's get right in there. Put this down for the birdie, dog. Just get outside. Back Somebody give me a fucking putter. Hoard the putter. I had to make it. Today, the guest on the show is Angie Martinez, a New York Times bestseller, Radio Hall of Fame, uh, and new golfer. And you have all star, champion, baseball player, Hall of Fame. Yankees legend, CeCe Sabathia. Yeah, huh? and new golfer. There you go. And new golfer. And new not golfer. a new golfer. And an incredible golfer. We started playing golf at the same time. No, that's a lie. When well, start? maybe like started a year. before COVID. I was after COVID. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish yeah. I played co- during COVID. That's like one of my big regrets. <laughs> yeah. anyway. But y'all are members here though, so we this here. is y'all. This is y'all home track. Like I'm not gonna lie, this is my first time seeing it. Y'all got a great spot. It's dope That's here. A dope you spot. like it? Yeah. yeah. You really like gotta it. come on like a regular day. Yeah, I definitely gotta come on a regular day. But the fair, like the tree lining, you gotta hit good drives. And the second shots, you got to hit good second shots in order to score. It's a fair golf course. Like, if you hit good shots, you'll score. If you don't, you won't. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, and if you can't putt, you won't score. So, I mean, it, it, it makes it, when you go play in other places, like, oh, I'm actually not that bad. Yeah. Because playing here oh, no, is, is I, I tough. Like I'm, a, I'm amazing when I go to other places. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, look at this little green, this flat green here. This is amazing. Yeah. So, yeah, it's been good to play here. So, COVID golfers, what's the, uh, what, what do y'all think the, <laughs> like, what was, the, what was it about golf that you was just like, damn, this is it for me? Like, I'm. I think for me, I mean, when I retired, I bought, I went, I went to, uh, to Dick's, I bought everything. I bought a tennis racket. I bought like a softball bat. I bought racket ball. I bought everything. I, bought, I did. Every, I, I was I'm gonna try everything, and um, I picked up golf and came out here with uh, my boy uh, Steve Meehan, and I fell in love with it. it. Cause it's just like pitching. It's one one shot at a time, one pitch at a time. Don't matter what you did on the last shot. It's always looking for the, looking forward to the next. So like having that mind frame of like being a pitcher for so long and then coming out here and going shot to shot, it's the same thing. So having my mind to be able to work like that, I just fell in love with it. That's, that's tough. That's funny. That's, I never thought about that, but that's like radio too. Cause it's like in radio, it don't matter if I had a good show yesterday. Cause I have to show up today and the next day. So every day is kind of like, a, you're, you'll have to be in the moment. You have to execute each time. You can't really live in something from the past. And that's pretty much like what this game is. It's yeah. like, you can't be in the last shot or the last game. You have to be present in that in that shot. It's probably one of the things too that I like about it. And also it's like, a, I don't know, to me it's like, it's one of the few things I do where I'm not multitasking. Mm-hmm. I can't multitask yeah. out here. I don't know how everybody does seven things. You know, our friends, more friends if you're on the phone, the cigar, I mean, I get it, a cigar, but the cigar, the phone, the this, the that. I'm yeah. like, fam, how? No. <laughs> Put the ball, hit, hit the ball. Fo- and let's not, keep it fucking loose. Hit the ball, yes. the ball to the next one. Come on, man. Am I sorry I'm cursing on your podcast? Right. Right. You are good. No, you but are good. You know good. what I mean? Like, 100%. So for me, I feel like it's like walking meditation almost because I'm literally just doing this one thing and really nothing else in my life gives me that. I'm always like multitasking. It's very hard to even think about anything else. Like if you're in a bunker, getting ready to hit a bunker shot, you can't think about like your kids or this or that thing happened yesterday, whatever. It's like, damn, I just got to get out of this bunker. Yeah. And yeah. every time I mess, like if a, if a call, I'm like, ooh, I really should take that. Every time I take the call, Double my bogey. ball falls to shit. Yeah. Yeah. Every time, yeah. immediately. That's why I always kid around my wife. She's just now starting to golf and so she understands it. But like historically, every time she calls and I answer, it's like, what time are you coming home? Oh, no. I'm like, 
you know I just teed off. For, <laughs> I mean, figure it out. Like three, four hours probably? I'm not sure. And then I hang up the phone, make a double bogey. And then and finally she and golfs. And you blame so her. And then you blame her. Yeah, and like, if it, you know, when she's out there playing, same thing. The phone rings and I see her start going for it. I'm like, don't do it. Don't do it. Just don't even go in your email. You go in your email, you might be playing great. You go in your yeah. email, it's over. Yeah. This damn game is so wild. You even get, like, if you at the halfway house, you get a little bite to eat, a drink, soda. It could change everything. Yeah, but it, or it, it could bring you it back, It could bring up. you back. Bring you know you what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's, yeah. Absolutely. Or even just, like, I mean, when I first started playing, I mean, I didn't say, when I first started playing, just a second ago, like, one shot will bring you back. Like that it, eagle, that that, that eagle. You even made. that eagle, but even just like on eighteen, I hit a good three wood, and I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm coming back tomorrow. I'm, I'm back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, I want to yeah. feel that tomorrow. Yeah, like, I'm exactly. back. Like, so it's just like that one shot that brings you back every every single time. When this insurmountable deficits turn into unforgettable victories at the Travelers Championship, the Northeast one and only PGA Tour signature event. See Scotty Scheffler, Roy McElroy, Victor Hovland, Patrick Cantlay, returning champion Keegan Bradley, and other PGA Tour stars in all four days of competition at close by TPC River Highlands. The excitement tees off June 19th through the 23rd. For tickets and information, visit TravelersChampionship.com. The Travelers Championship, there's only one. My parents used to always tell me, like, choose your friends wisely and all this other stuff. And I used to hang with the wrong crowds at certain times. But I feel like golf is one of those situations where I really start being really snobby with who I pick as a friend. <laughs> like, I'm not going to lie. Like, bro, I'm not just bringing anybody to the golf no, course, bro. Yeah, I'm not stuck. just bringing the homies, you bro. You get stuck. Uh, nah, 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 nah. You know what I'm saying? I'm so happy I'm a new golfer. I'm starting. I'm like, you guys should come. You guys, come on. After a few times, I'm like, why? Did I, why did I bring them here? They're fucking my head up. Especially when it's just your piece. Like, this is your piece. This is your it's zen. This is like. Yes. Yo, I got to tell the story just because, I mean, it, we all know it's, it's our brother, Peck. Oh, Peck so I'm yeah. playing last year at Olympia, uh, Olympia Fields with uh, Scotty Scheffler at the BMW. We tee off on one, and Peck is in the middle of the fairway on his FaceTime. Like, yo, I'm out here <laughs> teeing off Scotty Scheffler right here. Scotty Scheffler's <laughs> looking at me, and I'm looking. I, I was like, I don't know who that is. Like, I was like, I, we, I kept walking, <laughs> walk right by. He's, he's so in the middle of the fairway. <laughs> Oh on God. like on FaceTime, bro. With he's number one player in the world is right behind us. I was so embarrassed, dog. Like, <laughs> <laughs> way to go, Peck. Way to go. Peck is the cigar. I'm playing golf, but I'm not playing golf. <laughs> like the friend that you that loves to be at the golf course, but not playing golf. Not playing golf. <laughs> There's a few of those, though. We got we all have a few of those, yeah. for sure. My brother is like that. He want to post that he at the golf course, but like, bro, you played one like one and a half holes in three hours, bro. You put on a look. Just, yeah, you got the look. You got to post to your golf shoes. Like, come on, bro. I like going by myself. It's like one of my favorite things to do now because I'm still learning and I'm still figuring out the game. So I need less noise. I don't need people over coaching me because everybody wants to be like, oh, she's just a new golfer. Let's give her you 17 do this. tips yeah. while she's up in the backside. <laughs> <laughs> like, Yo, please, let me figure this out. Figure this shit out. So if I go by myself, I usually go, I'll play two balls and I go by myself and I'll, and I'll try like two different things or whatever. And I feel like that has helped me get better pretty mm. fast. From last year to this year, I feel like I'm a way better golfer yeah. from doing that. And getting better at golf, I was just showing her on the tee or telling her on the tee, like, little things you learn is, like, the the difference between amateurs and pros, like, at least five, six stroke is little things, like, what side of the tee box you tee up on. Like, if you're going to hit a slice, there's a side of the tee box that works for a cut, and there's a side that's a disaster for a cut. Or if you're going to hit a draw, or, like, most amateurs just step up, tee up in the middle. But it's like the middle doesn't work. Ever. Yeah. You know, like pros never tee up in the middle. They're either on the right side or the left side. And then they was telling her, like, I like to hit it like that. And I also like to hit it like this. But it's not that I like to. The course dictates what I have to do. So, like, the first hole here, you know, if I'm playing tomorrow, I'm going to hit a draw. I'm right-handed. I'm going to hit a draw so it catches that hill and, and it torpedoes forward. Yeah. So I get the most distance. If I cut it into that hill, I could. And I could hit the fairway, but it's going to hit the hill and stop. You know, so like that's what those play pros are doing is shaping the ball so much every time, even down to the green where like when they hit a bad shot, they're pissed that they hit it like five foot of the to the left of the pin 
because now they got a downhill putt. Yeah. They want to hit it five foot right of the pin, so they have an uphill putt. So it just starts to be like, you know, watching those pros like chipping and putting. It's like high, medium, low on the chips and the pitches. Top spin, under spin, left spin, right spin. And then like, you know, I was telling her, like, if you got a greens like this and you're pitching into it and you pitch into it with spin going that way, it's going to hit and just spin almost off the green. So you got to hit into a bank with the opposite spin, which will make the ball not roll all the way off the green. And if you don't have that shot, you can't keep it on the green. Yeah. It's just impossible. So I think that's like a thing or like putting downhill, you putt with the toe of the putter, right? Just like little stuff that you can cut five, 10 strokes off. And Claude Harmon on the show, and uh, Claude Harmon was on the show, he's talking about how when you're going, like, what is you, you, you shoot five, 10 over, that's good for you. So if you want to shoot, if you want to drop five strokes, you have to make more bogeys, not more birdies, he was saying. Because if you make more bogeys and less doubles and triples, you'll shoot two over. No problem. But everyone's like, oh, I got to make more birdies. I got to make more pars. It's like, not really. You can you can make your birdies and pars. You're gonna. But you just have to make more bogeys. Instead of doubles. Instead of doubles. Yeah. Like, even on the tour guys, when they're, like, in fifth place and they make a bogey, it's okay. You can come back. You make a double. You go from fifth to, like, 18th. And Nasty. then it's a hard fight back. Yeah. Nasty you know work. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Nasty work. Nasty work. Yeah. <laughs> it just, it, so making bogeys is actually how someone's going to go from shooting 90 to shooting 80 by and making that's, more it, bogeys. It's, and it, it is, but I just feel like it's never, you're never going to master the game. You know, like, Why? it's always stuff to work on. <laughs> Why? You know what I mean? Not better, you, I'm trying. No, you can't. Oh. You know, that's you going to play forever. Oh, God. You're playing forever trying yeah, to figure sure. it out. You know what I'm saying? And as you change stuff will change your game will change and i mean it, it's just something that you'll be like we'll be able to enjoy and play all over the world forever i wish i was playing it early i should have been playing while i was pitching man wasted so many good years like rock around the country playing good courses i could have been playing but oh well i get to do that now i wish i would have played COVID. yeah i live you know so close to the to a to a golf course i could have been like you know, the whole time. I think I would have been away. I, right? I'm the, I'm the only one on the planet that started after COVID. After COVID, yeah. <laughs> I think that's right. Nah, was, I think you're right. Come on. Who does was, that? Ride a bike or play golf. It was only two. Yeah, that's all I did. I went for walks with your wife. Me and your wife went hiking. And I was here. And, and you were here. I, I would have known I'd have left her and came over here and played golf with you. <laughs> I was here. Yeah. That's hilarious. The Part 3 Podcast is brought to you by Topgolf, perfect for family, friends, and fun. Enjoy a Topgolf around you this summer. Peace. So What's cool. y'all's goals? I, we talked about it earlier, one of your, your goals. Which will let tell well, I want to do it. I'm in the 90s, I want to be in the 80s. In I want to, that's my goal. That's just number-wise. But also, like, I, what I'm working, always working on is, and what I love about this game, is really like a mental thing. It's really keeping your... And you guys, because your professional athletes have already probably mastered that because, you know, when it's an important shot, important thing, you you stay calm. You stay in the moment. Civilians, you know, when something like this, when the, when the shot is on the line, we're like, oh, God. And so I've been really working to, like, not have the up and downs. Just kind of like, even if I have a bit bad shot, I take it as like, okay, this is an opportunity for me to hit it on the learn how to hit it from over here, This from this dirt here in the, <laughs> behind the rock. Exactly. Today I'm going to learn how to do that. So I look at it that way to keep, to keep calm, and I think that's going to help my golf game in the long run. So that's just something I'm working on. But number-wise, I want to drop about six. I want to drop about six strokes in, the, in this year. Is that crazy? Is that a, no, no. Six? Make, it, make more yeah. bogeys. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's more very bogeys. Just, no, just yeah. eliminate those doubles and triples. And also I think I'm going to play less uh, scrambles. <laughs> <laughs> scrambles are the worst. Less scrambles. Less scrambles. Scrambles, scrambles are the worst. That, that is true. It. They are. What's yours, sure big fella? I think my goals is just to continue to, to get better. Um, I mean, I, like she said, I mean, numbers wise, I went from like this time last year I was 17 handicapped to 10. Um, so it'd be good to be like getting the single digits, like five or, you know, whatever. I mean, honestly, it don't really matter. I just want to be able to play golf with anybody and move the golf ball and not yeah. have a problem. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I can I can show up at a golf course and anybody's out there and I can hit a do whatever I want to do on the golf course, I'm fine. Right. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. um, being able to to enjoy this game and go on trips with my boys and, 
and really just move the ball around the course. Any course is, is my goal. And play with anybody. Yeah. That's how I feel. When, yeah. when the, one of the yeah. first, when I first started playing, they invited me to play at Derek Jeter's um, tournament, and I played with Natalie Gulbis, and she, uh, LPGA player, yeah. she, and she said, she's like, you're too new. I mean, I was barely connecting with the ball. She's like, you're too new. I'm not going to coach you. She said, but I'll give you one tip, and that's um, just Move fast. Just play. Don't play slow. Play fast. If you learn to keep a good pace, you can play with any player. No matter what. And it was the best advice for yeah. a new golfer because I can, there's women here who are all single. I play with all the women here are all single digit. I play with people better than me all the time. And they love having and you. And they have no problem yeah. with it because I, I'm just as fast, if not faster than them. I, yeah. I pick it up. I hit. I don't I don't whine about it. I don't, I don't you know. That, and so I think that's for new golfers. That's really important. To be able to, because you said, like, I want to play, too, with people who are better than me in different yeah. places. I want to be able to play with my guy friends, and they're not like, oh, God, Andrew's slowing us up. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I, don't, I don't want that. Because I like playing with people who are better than me, because that's how I, that's how I bec you know, I learn stuff. And like, score-wise, no one actually cares at all what you shoot. That's right. Right? <laughs> right it's right. like, as long as you're quick and you're keeping up and you have a good attitude yeah, and for yeah. good energy and such, it's like... I don't know what you shot. I could, I could care less. I mean, actually, the other day, I'm concerned care. with like, my shit. We went to, we were, I mean, we was at Pebble last week, whatever, a couple weeks ago or whatever, last week. Last week, yeah. yeah. We played the preserve. That was the best round of golf that I played out there. We didn't keep a score. Oh my you know God. what I'm saying? Like, we just played. <laughs> you like, know me, I don't really like to keep yeah, score. Yeah, we just played. I just like to hit good like, shots. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, wow. yeah, like I could care less what I shot because if I shoot 72, 82, or 92, it really doesn't change anything at all. And even if I shoot 72 and I'm being that guy, I'm going to be like, well, I missed three putts. I should have shot 69. And yeah. it's like constantly dissing myself. It's always myself. you leave something out there all yeah, the time. Like, all the time. Or you know if what I saying? hit like a perfect drive, perfect four iron, five foot, read the putt wrong, miss the putt, and then I'm like, ah, oh, you trash. You just missed the easy birdie putt. It's like, well, I did hit a good drive. I hit a great four and iron. I read the, the fucking wrong. <laughs> I read the putt wrong. Like, yeah. I'm not a, I'm not, the Jason Day put out something the other day, said he putts for two and a half hours every day. Wow. And the dude goes in tournaments every single week and misses five foot putts. Oh my so God. like, who are we? Yeah. Like, he's, I'm, I'm mad at we? myself. It's like, this shit is hard. It is so hard. <laughs> Damn. It is. You got to get it all figured out. Speed has to meet the equal the right line. I'm playing the Grove for the first time next week. Oh. Uh, what do, we, do you have any advice for me? Play fast. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> The, the carts is going to be fast The carts is going to be fast. Be Wear careful. Wear a helmet. Them carts yeah. are dangerous as hell. I be went careful. with him. It was yeah, raining. We played fast. in a fucking crazy storm, the two of us in Sheffield. It was raining like crazy. And the windows were all fogged up and steamed up. And this nuts. shit running about 45. And the fairways are like this. Yeah. And I knew I was going to flip the cart. <laughs> I was scared as hell on the cart by myself. Like, and you can't even make it go slow. Nah, the cart's nah. one speed. It's wide fun, open. Wow. It's going to be a good I heard the gift shop is, is fire. Yeah, they got some, ju some joints. <laughs> sure. The clubhouse, all that's great. The lunch. If you lunch. hit the fairway, you can play well. All you got to do is yeah. hit the fairway because if you get in a fescue and all that, you're going to be in trouble. It's okay. going to be a day. Okay. I actually want to go back. I haven't been to the Grove back since I've like actually been able to play some golf. I'm excited. So, yeah. yeah. Where else you playing down there? That's it. I'm well. I'm doing. I'm playing at the in my I mean uh, Khaled's tournament. And then the day after. And then the day uh, after. Oh, the day after. Okay. Was she, Saturday. She was saying she was out at Pebble and she went from Pebble to Atlanta for something else and she was just there for one day and it's hard as hell to get there or whatever. And she's like, "What the hell was I doing? Yeah. Why would I go to Pebble and <laughs> leave after the one day? day? Like <laughs> yeah. my first time there, I was like, damn, I needed a few days here. Yeah. I played myself, uh, but I'll go back. Yeah, it's there. It doesn't get any worse up there. Oh, Pebble. Man. Man. Yeah, it's a good one. It was Definitely incredible. be back this year. I played well. This I was year, proud I'll of myself. Back. Yeah. <laughs> Bring your wife and come out. What's going on, everybody? This is Part 3 Podcast. I am here representing a prize picks. The majors coming up. U.S. Open. The Open. Uh, come on down. Come see us. We got some picks for you. You know, depending on putts, drives from all your favorite golfers. Uh, use promo code PART3 and come check us out. It's tournament and major season in the world of golf, and we at Par 3 Podcast are locked in on Prize Picks, America's number one fantasy sports app, where you can turn your golf knowledge into serious cash. You can now win up to 100 times your money on Prize Picks with as little as four correct picks. Prize Picks is the best way to get action on sports in more than 30 states across the country, including California, Texas, and Georgia. Prize Picks is really simple to play. You can make picks 
picks and submit your entry in less than 30 seconds. Prize Picks now offers Apple Pay for quick and easy deposits. Par 3 Podcast has cashed out on Prize Picks before, and they'll do it again. Download the app today and use code PAR3 for a first deposit match of up to $100. That's code PAR3 for a first deposit match of up to $100. Pick more, pick less, it's easy. PAR3 and Prize Picks are coming for the top of the golf leaderboard together. Our picks get paid. PrizePicks.com slash PAR3. What's your, what's your dream for some? Oh, that's a good question. You go first. <laughs> Man, that's a great question. Um, is Tiger in everyone's? A lot Just of about. Them. That's, about, a, that's yeah, a lot yeah. of people's. Huh? It's got to be. Um, Tiger in nah, the I, I would go uh, MJ, I think would be fun. So you're going like six or seven in the group then. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be, we're going to be deep. You know who I played with Rory at Bay Hill, and that was a lot of fun. So I think MJ, Rory, and... Uh, wow, that's pretty good. You know, and I, you know who else I really like to play with is my boy is Aaron Hicks. Oh, yeah. He's, you know, have you played with Hicksy yet? Mm-mm. Aaron Hicks, is a center, he used to be the center fielder for the Yankees. Um, he just just recently um, just got released to play for the Angels, but he's one of my favorite players to golf with. He's a really good golfer, and he's the reason why I really started golfing. Mm. So that will be my four, MJ, okay. Rory, and Hicksy. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. That's too hard. I don't know. <laughs> us four? Us four? Yeah, yeah. Us four? <laughs> By the way, this would be a great day. This would be so much fun for me. Like I would I, this would be a this would be a great day. We throw MJ and, and Tiger in there, you know. You, two of you weird. two of you on the nine, two of you can go for food and drinks. Those two could pop in. You know what I mean? Like that would be pretty great. Been a long day. Perfect long day for a long drink. The finished long drink. Great for any summer day. Cheers. What was y'all like proper introduction into like the country club scene? Because like, for one, you, you, you a lot of us were like, you know, before we quote unquote had money, we would've been playing the munis and stuff like that. But now like being able to come from where we come from and have the money and the, and the access to the country clubs, what was the what was the vibes been like since, you know, being involved in the sport of golf and the country club scene of it? For me, I would say, honestly, it was CeCe and his wife, Amber. They do uh, events a- here at Alpine every year. And even before I was golfing, I would just come to support them and be here. And then I started golfing. It was probably, I learned here. Yeah. Probably at your tournament. It was like one of the first couple of times I would start to play. So um, I was introduced to it that way. And then, I don't know, it just didn't seem so foreign. And so I, di- I felt comfortable. I didn't feel people were nice. And I felt... Um, I don't know, I just feel like I worked hard my whole life. So I have no guilt about yeah. spending the money. I felt like I don't need a G-Wagon. I'll, I'll be at the country club. <laughs> it'll be a way of life and it'll be fine. You know, like I, I, I kind of balance it as a, as a, it's just something that I do for myself. Something that I, you know, something that I invest in for quality of life. Um, and yeah, it's been good for me, this club. And I, don't, I think not all clubs are the same, but for me, there's a lot of women here. There's some diversity here which is nice. Um, and the women have been great to me. Like I said, there's women here who golf who are, are single digit handicaps and they have no problem bringing me out at any time. And so for me, it's been great. But I also, I love, I'll play anywhere. I don't play. I played in Compton. I played it in the Bronx. I played it. <laughs> I, 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 I'll, I'll play anywhere. Like if there's a game, I mean, I'm free. I'm going to go. I'm, I'm going to play. I don't care. It's fine. I'll play wherever. <laughs> I think for me, like being an athlete is an easy transition. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, he's spoiled from a long time ago. Yeah, <laughs> it is. No, sure. I mean, like, it's just what you're used to. You know what I'm saying? Like, 100%. being, you know, drafted out of high school, like, you just always been used to being at stuff like this. Like, so it was an easy transition, honestly. Um, I just, honestly, I didn't know, like, when I was playing, I didn't ever think I would play golf, one. And I just didn't think I was, like, a country club person because I didn't think I was a golf guy. You know what I'm saying? But, Getting into golf, like coming to the country club, this is an easy thing to do. Like coming here every day, going to putt, eating, eating here, hanging out, it's doing whatever. Best, yeah, yeah, like the this best. is like coming to the field for me. You it's know really what I'm saying? Going putting up shots, really doing really whatever. Yeah, like it is, right? it's the same vibe. So oh, really yeah, and everybody we knows and we don't you. Come from this, so it's still funny. Like in my family, my mother be like, "You're at the country club, my like, boss. <laughs> yeah. Get over it already." Right. It's funny because it's I funny like, to them because the same thing. For sure, it's like for me back in the day, it's like everybody wanted to be Will Smith. Anybody, right? Nobody realized how cool Carlton was until like now. Golf is like the thing, and nobody. 
nobody really want to hoop no more or play baseball like that. Nah, it's just people like, still want to hoop and play baseball. I mean, <laughs> yeah, but like the new thing is like golf. Golf is like the new yeah, yeah, it yeah. thing for like, I don't know. I, I look at a lot of the, the younger generation and I just feel like they're way more hip to the golf scene than it That's is hoop. Sure. Than, like than when I was growing up, it wasn't really as accessible. So you, like when you start seeing it, it's just like, even with me, like a lot of like the younger generation, like yo, you play golf. All right, cool. I'm, I'm, I might try that. But like when we was growing up, it was like it was Tiger, and that was it. That was it. And you couldn't see CC Sabathia on the golf nah. course. You couldn't see Angie on the golf course. Sure. There wasn't no little nah. girl in the Bronx looking like. You know what? I might play golf. Let me see what's up. Like no, now, I'm never you can... in my mind. Not not a, even three or four or five years ago. I'd be like, what? Absolutely not. It wasn't even something. We don't come from that. I don't, no. I, I didn't know anybody growing up that played golf. I never been around anybody who played golf. And we didn't have access to like the celebrities of athletes that these kids or these people have now. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? To know, like, I didn't know Bo Jackson played golf as a kid or Michael. J I mean, I, we knew Michael Jordan played golf, but not as much as he like. We didn't know he was playing as much as he plays. You right. know, so for sure, um, it would have it would have gave us a different different perspective if we would have known. Like who was actually out, you know, accessing golf, and it, you know, we probably would start playing earlier. I know I probably would have. It's funny, we were we were going to Pebble, and it was like one of the first times I've ever seen. It was like I seen Angie get dropped off by her dude and her husband, and he was dropping her off to go on a golf trip with the fellas. <laughs> it was just he like was going to the spa. It was like, bro, what is this? What does this happen in reverse? Yeah, he's getting it's, a massage. He's sitting there like, yeah, man, I gotta work. Bye, I gotta man, got the kids. Gotta, 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 gotta holla, at me. I see you, <laughs> Pick me up. <laughs> I was just like, baby. She was like, baby, if that was me, I was like, baby, if, we're going to, if you going to Pebble Beach, I'm going to Pebble Beach. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cheap trying to get him. He just hasn't caught the bug. We've all tried. We tried. I've been trying bad to get him. He's cool with it, thank God. And most of the guys I golf with, he knows them. He'd be, he'd be like, babe, you going to golf with the guys? I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But the thing is, I think he really, he really sees how much I love yeah, it. He yeah. sees He's like, yeah. a he's like, you you come home and you're so happy. Like, it's so I think he's happy that I found something that I like doing so That's much. Yeah. So cool. Golf's he's, wild on the that. happy tip. Like, so what you're trying to do out there, you're basically failing over and over and over and over, right? Like, you want to hit it over the lake and make it go from left to right. You fucking pull it in the tree or you hit it fat and it goes in the lake. So you have so many disastrous failures during four hours of playing golf that when I get off the golf course, Everything's easy. Golf so hard in the wind. This it's like going home and being good to my kids and wife and cooking dinner and being happy. It's like this is like a walk in the park compared to that shit I just did. That's fucking hard. Playing in the wind at Pebble Beach. It's like, sheesh, after that, the whole day. It's like I'm on cruise control. This is nothing. You got that wine over there? You good? You it's to, easy. Uh, Everything else is easy. Make my bed in the morning. Everything's fine. At golf, you get out there and you start playing bad, getting your feelings. You got to dig yourself out of it, getting bad bounces, lipping out putts. Listen it's to like, a bad what caddy. What is going Listen on? Listen to a bad caddy. <laughs> Caddies do get on my nerves sometimes. Ooh, we. I had a couple today. Ah, oh, it's just a, a couple left to right. It's like, all right, cool. Man, I just broke like four feet. I'm like, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you got to play here years. first to know the greens. Really? Yeah. You yeah, got to play know. here first. There's a couple of good caddies here, though, too, also. But yeah, a bad caddy will mess up my day. And also, because like I said, because I'm new, when people over try to coach me, it just, and then I start going, yeah, it's too much. I can't yeah. do too much. Anymore. Just tell me in the proximity of where you yeah. think the ball is going to go. Is it going to go, go left or right? Let me figure out how to get there. Yeah. Give me the distance, and that's it. Yeah. So today we've been asking our guests the same question, and I'd love to hear your guys' answer. So, Cece, why do you golf? I think I golf um, because I love to play golf. Um, and, and, and I don't golf for the competitiveness. You know, like, I'm, I'm not competitive out there. Like, I don't think, you know, I, I, I don't think people want to see me competitive again. You know, like, when I'm competitive and I want to win, like, I'll do anything. I'll rip your fucking face off to win. Like, I play golf because I really enjoy playing golf. Like, all over the world. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's intense. fun to me. That was huh? intense. It what, was like, intense. if I want to win? Yeah, no, that's, that's real, though. No, you know what I'm saying? Sure. Like, But that's but really, like, yeah, I but I don't tough. have that anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, you I'm, see, I'm, he went there for one no, second. Yeah, he sure. did. He like, got a, a saw in his yeah, eyes. I'll tell you one thing. He had me convinced. I was like, I want to be on his team. Like, what? Like, don't gamble with him. If it's something to win, you want to be on my team. Like, But no, and that's not. but that's not why I play. I play just to have fun, like, and, and I really, really enjoy, like, hitting good shots and, like, 
Me you know, too. And, 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 and playing good golf courses. I really do love it. I do too. And I think there's an element to like, I play it because number one, like I said, it's the one thing I do where it's like my thing and I'm not multitasking. I'm not playing against somebody else. I'm playing against myself. There's always something to learn. And also if like I'm having, sometimes I do this, if I'm having like the worst day or I hit the worst shot, like I hit a bad shot over there and then I turned around and you just look at the course. Yeah. It's just like even a bad day out here. It's, so you're still outside. It's nature. You're just calm. It's just a beautiful kind of experience. Even take the game away from it. Just being yeah, out here is totally. beautiful. So at, on the worst day, it's still dope to be out here. For sure. And then on a good day, you actually challenge yourself. You learned how to do something or you, you know, you, you executed and, you know. Y'all seem like y'all both like to walk more than ride. I like to walk. I like both. It depends. It depends what I did the night before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a walker. I got to walk. I like really to walk. Really a walker? Yeah. I love to walk. I get, my, I get a momentum. It's just like I'm not in a rush. It's just. I never I overswing I when I'm time. walking. Yeah. yeah. I take my yeah, time. Yeah, it keeps you calm. Like, yeah. yeah. I do notice that too. Like if rushing, like I played with some friends the other day. I brought my girlfriend out who she just only been out a few times. So I was still, I'm still being nice to people. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, sure, come. And she came like five minutes to my house before the tea time. So we're rushing over here. We're late. Oh, it ruined you. And then I got here. I was like. <sighs> <laughs> you know, you're just like. Yeah, yeah. You can't golf like, I can't golf like nah, you. Yeah. I need to calm my head down. I need at least 15, 20 minutes on the range. I need a little something, maybe a ginger ale or a cocktail or something. I need to, like, take my time. Like yeah. you said, walk, pace, and all that. It's, it's a mental thing. So, yeah. I hate being stressed out. I'm not let, I can't be stressed out before I come here. You can't. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Well, thank you guys for coming on. It means the world to us. Ah, thank you. This is fun. Of course. You know, we, we could talk about golf. We could sit here for three hours oh, talking about yeah, golf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You got the perfect podcast. Me and JR doing this. It's like, what do we got to do when he was when people were helping put it together? I'm like, we just got to talk about golf? I'm like, no problem. Easy. 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 No scripting. No nothing. So, well, why do you play golf? <laughs> like, that yeah, should have been three hours right yeah. on his own. Yeah. Yeah. Well, today, <laughs> don't let us start talking about clubs. Yeah, yeah. JR's a club guy. Oh, oh God. That's, yeah. I'm going to need that at some point. Whether you're a world-class athlete or a podcaster, we all understand the importance of mental and physical well-being and proper recovery for top-notch performance. That's why we are excited that Unified Healing is sponsoring this episode of the PAR3 podcast. What is the EE system? Unified Healing is a new and super innovative global network of wellness centers powered by Energy Enhancement System, or EE system. If you haven't heard of the EE system yet, you'll want to listen up. This technology promotes wellness, deep relaxation, purification, and rejuvenation. Whether you're in California or hundreds of other locations across the globe, access to a center is easy and affordable. Interested in experiencing the EE system technology for yourself? Go to unifiedhealing.com slash par to learn more and find a center near you. That's U-N-I-F-Y-D healing.com slash P-A-R. No material or testimonials on the Unified Healing website are intended to be viewed as medical advice or the substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Always seek the advice of your physician or other qualified healthcare provider with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition or treatment and before undertaking a new healthcare regime, including the EE system. What's that logo on your shirt? You're wondering. Matitika. Oh, the jersey spot. When you wear, when you're in Jersey, down, that's all you wear is the Jersey you gloves. Yeah, I got. I got <laughs> that's it. Florida, he got a whole nother closet, <laughs> <laughs> all new clubs, For everything. Uh, At my club, though, I got all the shirts, all the, the like. The shorts got the logos on it, the belts, everything. Amazing. Come through. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta, I gotta feel good and then play good. Yes, you know, I got to. For sure. If I don't feel good, I'm not gonna play good. It just don't work like that for me. It's like being stressed out in the morning from your friend running late. You got, hey, it's over. No <laughs> Try again tomorrow. Right. The fit got to be right. When the fit is right, I'm, I'm feeling good. No yeah. matter what, I'm really? good. I'm birdie of the first hole yeah, for I'm sure. Good. I'm coming out like I'm on fire. I'm good. <laughs> well, thanks, you guys. See y'all soon. Thank you. Appreciate it. And that's another episode of the Part 3 Podcast. I'd like to thank Long Drink. I'd like to thank Lexus, Top Golf, Unified Healing, Prize Picks and Alpine Country Club. You guys are all the best. Thank you all for following along and we'll see you next week.
I played somewhere the other day, and uh, at the at, at the first tee box, it said, "Play well, play fast." Yeah, that's fucking exactly. best logo, best logo ever. The, have you played Olympic Club in in California? Yeah, no, nah. they have all that up there. Play well. Play fast, something or another. If you're playing bad, play faster. Yeah, yeah. If you're playing bad, play faster. Pick that Hurry shit the up. the fuck up. Right, let's go. <laughs> Pick Stop that talking. shit up. 3.45, hey, dog. <laughs> Get this shit over with. 3.45. But you played here before, right? No, this is my oh, first time. Oh, this is your first time? Oh, you yeah. got to come on a regular day. Yeah, you got to come Why you haven't have come down here? I was supposed to come tomorrow, but I got my daughter in the morning. Yeah, you got to come on a regular day. 